Hello, Tycon 2020. We are Nephrodite, a collective group of scientists, engineers, and clinicians dedicated to improving the lives of patients with end-stage renal disease. Our decision to innovate in the dialysis space was not difficult. Not only is it an area where two of the founders have considerable medical expertise, but one that has had a positive innovation since the inception of dialysis in 1943. Over 800,000 patients in the U.S. and nearly 3 million patients worldwide suffer from this disease, and the cost of the U.S. healthcare system is enormous. Nearly $34 billion to Medicare, which accounts for 7% of the Medicare budget to treat less than 1% of the covered population. Our patients with end-stage renal disease and on dialysis are suffering. Dialysis is laborious, invasive, draining, and painful. It wreaks havoc on the personal lives of patients and places unreasonable demands on loved ones for care and transportation. Complication rates are high. With only being dialyzed three times per week, patients experience peaks and troughs that assault their cardiovascular system, resulting in dialysis graft failures, infections, heart attacks, stroke, and death. We have developed a surgically implanted device that uses an arterial conduit to allow for continuous filtration, essentially working as a kidney replacement mechanism. This device is connected to an external reservoir that holds dialysate, allowing for effective fluid exchange as well as filtration. By addressing both filtration and fluid exchange, the device is able to maintain a patient's internal hemodynamics thereby reducing complications and maintaining quality of life. With a total addressable market of $40 billion for end-stage renal disease, we believe the target opportunity is roughly $700,000 to $800,000 for a 5% penetration and over $1 billion for a 10% penetration of just the hemodialysis patient segment. These revenues would be generated through the sale of the Holly device, along with recurring revenues through sale of components, support services, and supplies. Early prototype and testing was completed in Q4 2018 into the beginning of 2019. The company secures no debt, and it owns all of its IP consisting of three patent families, both in the U.S. and in Europe. The company is currently seeking funding for a seed round to complete development of a full working testing prototype and to engage in early animal testing. The founders have startup experience, deep clinical and science background. We have a team of advisors that guide us in IP, including prosecution and regulatory matters. The medical advisors are global experts in transplant surgery, vascular access, kidney disease and dialysis. In summary, there's a critical need to improve renal replacement therapies the company is well set up to accomplish this with their novel device. Thank you.